It is a good day today to be a slosher player. To any of my friends out there, whether you're a blob lobber enjoyer or a silly little slosher, we're winning. As someone who has been playing the sloshing machine for many, many years, I'm a very happy camper. Here is your warning that I'm going to be talking about all of the kits that the sloshers got because I'm really excited about them and I want you to be excited about them too. All of this information is being pulled from the Splatoon 3 World Premiere Splatfest event going on this weekend, which just had its app drop today. Woohoo! So I have to be biased and start with the sloshing machine, okay? They gave it Fizzy Bomb and they gave it Booyah Bomb. Essentially what they did is they took the Fizzy Bomb, which was super strong with the original sloshing machine in Splatoon 2, and just, uh, they took that Kensa kit and they said, Hey, what if we put a Booyah Bomb on it? And that's great. <laughs> the sloshing machine was an okay painter, but with the Booyah Bomb, it's gonna help it do so much more. The Fizzy Bomb has also always been great for the sloshing machine, specifically because it does extra chip damage to help you get confirmation kills along with your regular sloshes. It doesn't like annihilate the ink tank too too bad, so I think people will have a lot of fun throwing a fizzy bomb, throwing a couple of sloshes, and finishing up with a booyah bomb whenever they feel like there's a threat around. No need to stingray the tower when you can just booyah bomb the tower. I I'm gonna have so much fun. I was originally a sloshing machine main back in like 2018. It's just history repeating itself. I'm so happy. We already knew the kit for the slosher being Splat Bomb and Triple Ink Strike, but I'm just including it in here in case people don't know it and they stumble across this video. The Splat Bomb was great for the slosher when it was the soda slosher in Splatoon 2, and the slosher did have Ink Strike back in the days of Splatoon 1. It's great just for kill confirmations, for forcing opponents out of like places that you don't want them to be, and it's just fun. It's just fun to be able to throw a whole bunch of ba-booms and just move people around. I, I can not be mad about that. Now, I've seen some very mixed opinions about the Blob Lover, but I really don't mind the Sprink the Rain kit. The Ink Storm was always really fun for Blob Lobber anyway. You, you fire your Blob Lobber shots, you have your rain. Miss a couple of blobs, the Ink Storm will probably finish them up. The Sprinkler is there just to give the Blob Lobber more paint, leading to more Ink Storms, and also just to be kind of an annoyance. Come on, throw a Sprinkler down, get somebody out of hiding, hit them, woohoo! I have pretty strong faith that the next Blob Lobber kit will probably be more aggressive, so I'm thinking this is meant to be more of the, hey, play this one in Splat Zones, hey, play this one in Turf War, Blob Lobber. But people sometimes forget how important turf control can be, even in ranked. This blob will just have a specific niche, and I don't really see that as a bad thing, personally. Explode do be kind of silly here though. <laughs> Essentially, it's the blob kit, but it's got a point sensor instead. I really wanted to see angle shooter on the Explo, and I want to hope that it's not too late for us to see it in the future. But the point sensor is still useful for the Explosher. Explosher works well with point sensor because the Explosher is basically throwing giant burst bombs down on its opponents. If the Explo knows where its opponents are going as it's firing its shots, it has a massive advantage on the field. Explo has never had Ink Storm before. It actually had only Bubble Blower as well as Baller in the second game. This is a brand new ball field for the Explosher. Seeing as an Explosher nearly but does not one hit KO if its direct shot hits an opponent, I think having the Ink Storm do those last like 10 bits of damage is actually super smart. And last but not least, we have the weapon that Nintendo's been, like, hiding from us the whole time? The Tri-Slosher? I, I don't know why they didn't show it to us beforehand, but the kit is so fun! It's so aggressive and so silly. The Toxic Mist is just, you know, throw, throw Toxic Mist, you know, fire Tri-Slosh at it. People go away because the Tri-Slosher kills really fast. <laughs> But this tri slosher has the ability to cause problems on purpose even from a distance. When the tri slosher player doesn't die at random in the middle of a team fight, they can just, you know, inkjet and win. Whoa! If your inkjet doesn't kill your opponents, when you land, you can just finish the job. Don't forget the tri slosher is a two shotting weapon. It's always been kind of gross. <laughs> and I feel like this kid is really mean for it. 
I'm still very hyped to see what they do in the future for other weapons and for future sloshers. But I'm feeling good. This makes me happy. I'm really excited for Splatoon 3 to come out, but I'm very glad that we're getting some nice kits for those first sets of kits. I hope you're happy with what you're seeing out there for Splatoon 3, and I'm ready for more. Let's-a go! Don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear me ramble more about Splatoon 3 and other games in the future. Thanks for watching, and have a good one!